This is the What's good, everybody? It's your boy SJK. The first like Super Saiyan to wear vibes on this planet, and I'm back here with another video. So there's been debates going around on the internet, on Twitter, Instagram about the newest bar fight sequence from Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois was not the first Superman live action product to show a bar sequence. Superman 2 started it, Smallville had it, Man of Steel, and now Superman and Lois. The reason I want to make this video is because people are trying to basically either complain about Clark using physical force in the situation he dealt with in Superman and Lois, or basically call out people for being hypocrites about how Clark can't deal with his situation in Man of Steel. Let's make this clear before I get Chillmonger's opinion. The only similarities between these scenes, just like Superman 2 and Smallville, is that they happen in a bar. <laughs> and three of them are dealing with bullies, and one of them in Smallville is Clark taking Red Kryptonite and being a bad boy and doing some rude stuff. But Superman 2, Man of Steel, Superman Lois, the only similarities, they're in a bar and they are dealing with bullies, right? Superman and Lois, Clark Kent is dealing with the individual that pulled a tried to pull a gun on his wife. Pulled a gun on my wife. And now you and I are going to step outside so we can talk. And assaulted his son, who's a minor, and stole his truck. You hit my son. In Man of Steel, Clark Kent is dealing with the individual who is harassing a woman. Back off, Lebo. I'm serious. Oh, come on, Chrissy. Knock it off. Sit down. Let me go. Hey, leave her alone, man. And trying, you know, basically catcalling her, trying to get her to, you know, do some weird sexual favors that she doesn't want to do. Try to force himself upon her. In Man of Steel, Clark Kent goes to deal with it. And then Clark Kent decides to take a, in my opinion, a pacifist approach. And what he ends up doing is he just, he distracts this person from messing with this individual over here. You know, basically redirecting it to him and de-escalating. I'll probably just leave when I'm good and ready. Oh. oh, there he is. Situation in a sense. So this girl, while, you know, we don't know what her fate is in the rest of the film, but at this moment, she's safe, right? Clark came in there, stepped in, and stopped a situation that could have potentially went somewhere. Now, for me, what messes up the Man of Steel scene for me is the ending when he goes and has a little temper tantrum and, and destroys the truck. Exactly. I think how Clark dealt with it in Sumin Lois. Now, mind you, that's a situation of a father dealing with somebody that threatened his wife and his son. But if you are going to challenge somebody and deal with them, you you challenge them. You challenge them. If if in, if the Sumin and Lois sequence had a, had a scene where Clark decided to stand there and take the hits and stuff, which he can, he can handle it. He knows he's more powerful. But let's say Clark can and Sumin and Lois ran to dude's house and burned it down just to, just to get back at him. I'll call that a abuse of power. It's, it's like in society when we tell a lot of people, you know, a lot of the people in power, like CEOs, tech CEOs, um, celebrities that abuse their power, R. Kelly, Bill Cosby, even many tech CEOs, uh, Donald Trump, all these people gain so much power and then abuse it. When you have power, you need to use it wisely and you know you need to be respectful with the power you have right yeah yeah there's like a great comic book that teaches about that with great power there must also come great responsibility spider-man but the man of steel sequence as i said is such a great moment up until the truck scene because what it looks like it looks like a situation where okay you lost a fight and then oh you just you're just gonna go like go to their house and throw a rock at their window you know they might deserve it. To me, that's kind of pathetic. You know, because if, if I'm going to confront someone, let's say a bully, I'm going to confront a bully, the fight we're going to have or, you know, just the verbal back and forth is going to happen in that moment because I don't want this to continue further. We're either going to fight it out here or talk it out, and that's it. I'm not going to go to your house. I'm not going to go to your car. I'm not going to go find your friend and hurt them. I'm dealing with you. See what I'm saying? I'm, 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 and I'm not trying to say that truck is more important than the woman. Clark already went in there and distracted 
and de-escalated the situation from going anywhere further. It's not worth it, sweetie. Mission accomplished. But what if you want to have a superman that takes a pacifist approach with regular people that ha don't have powers, then stay consistent with it. Go all the way until the end. Have him just walk away. Just walk away. Walk away. Resolve it. Make it so that he never returns to this bar again. Don't that, have a fit. Right. And that's why I think assuming in low is Clark handled that perfectly. It was a balance of using physical force and words. Clark, when he went in there to confront the man that tried to uh, shoot, shoot his wife and um, assaulted his son, he verbally talked to him first and told him, if you do that again, there's going to be some consequences. And now you and I are going to step outside so we can talk. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'd really rather not do this in front of your daughter. Right. The man got up, tried to physically assault Clark. And what Clark did was he took it. He let Emmett, he let Emmett hit him first. You think she hasn't seen this before? <laughs> If you ever threaten my family again, take something that isn't yours or sell another dangerous drug. And when Clark decided to just use a little bit of force, a little bit, slammed him down to the slam down to the table and told him, I will come for you. If you do it again, we're gonna lock you up. All that stuff. And what Clark did was Clark put so much fear in that person at the moment he ran away to another town. He left Smallville. Mm -hmm. And I think that scene showed a well-rounded Superman moment. That's that's how you show a well-rounded character. He, he took an approach that I would probably take. I would only use physical force if it got to him, you doing something physical to me, but I would talk to you first. The scene with Clark and Man of Steel just seems kind of pathetic to me. Anyone I would, was a, oh, go ahead. Anyone who's ever gardened, you know that when you have weeds, you don't just pull the weed and that's it. You get it from the root. You make sure that the, res the, the way that you problem solve prevents this weed from ever growing again. So what he does in Superman Lois, what he does there actually takes care of the issue where we are resolved. But what happens in Man of Steel doesn't address he, the, the, the abuser, and his actions towards this waitress and this is bad. Like he's not going to stop because... You right, ruined, just because you destroyed his truck because you, you destroying his truck actually is pretty weak of a person of Superman to do. It means that you took it personal and you cared more about hurting the abuser than you did about protecting the victims, and that's not right. Superman, right? And just the last thing I'm gonna say that person at the end day, yeah, you destroyed his truck, but whatever company works for, there's gonna get him another truck and he's gonna be driving, you know. I mean, you, you shoved a bunch of light posts and stuff into his vehicle and i mean what are they going to say what is the, the insurance going to say well natural disaster you're fully covered you know it's like it's not his fault that some light posts are stuck inside of his truck and now he's he's probably going to go to another bar and abuse somebody so i like both scenes but one scene just does not just ruins it at the end but everything up until everything when clark did the pacifist approach enjoyed it it's just that final part with the truck ruins it well we all know they're just copying marvel they wanted to make him hulk out what's next is gonna have a shield ah well maybe but you guys just want to share this quick opinion real quick we do got to head up out of here thank you chillmonger for coming in thank you all for watching so that peace love positivity all that jazz don't do drugs and like i always say deuces hey i'm kim <clears throat> i'm sorry to interrupt everyone's dinner What did you do? What did you do?